Petals, the prettiest, most colorful and showiest part of a plant. And it is that way for a reason. Flowers need to get pollinated and fertilized to produce fruit and reproduce. So the main function of the petals, or collectively the corolla, is to attract pollinators and lure them right into the flower center, where the reproductive parts are located. Petals have evolved curious patterns, colors and shapes to attract specific pollinators. A great example is Mojavia confertiflora, that have a maroon spot inside their corolla, which makes it appear that there is a female bee hiding in there. This attracts males of a particular bee species in search of females to visit the flower, and while they're inside searching for a female bee, the flower gets pollinated. On the other hand, in wind-pollinated flowers, such as those of grasses or some trees like willows, there is no reason to spend energy on ornamental petals, so they're either reduced or completely missing, and the flower structure is modified for effective wind pollination. Petals can be fused together to form a tubular or even an urn-shaped corolla, or there can be different looking petals within one flower, like in a typical pea family flower. While sepals form the outermost whorl of a flower, petals form the second whorl and surround the reproductive structures. But there are exceptions, and we're going to talk about those tomorrow.